All right, Camel Crew, this is the very last time-lapse-ish episode for my franchise Zoo, which is called Beyond the Camel, but it's not a real name though. This uh, footage, what you can see over here, is just sped up 2.5 times, which I usually wouldn't do because that's ridiculous and no, no need to do it, but there was just not enough uh, footage left to make a proper time lapse. And that's why at the end of the video, a good two, uh, one third of the video is only wonderful cinematics of the Indian elephant. However, I kept it in because there were a few important things uh, to note about this. So this was the first situation in the whole beta I was putting down uh, this vehicle gate or the, or the track ride gate and it appears that you have to put it down first before you can connect the track. I was actually thinking you can maybe put it on later so I was preparing the track but I then just figured no Rory you do have to build the track first and then someone in the chat had the idea to maybe try using the null fence first and uh, do it then but you know using the null fence is, is kind of I mean the only no I, I don't even see a chance how to use the null fence here except no, you can't even make a, a natural border to it. So the null fence would always lead up uh, to, to some issues. So um, yeah, I was testing it. If you can drag it in then, but you obviously can't. So what you need to do again is delete the track, put the gate in and connect the track again. It's it's a bit of a weird thing um, if you have built the track already, but you know, knowing that in the future will not be a weird thing at all. I'm just going to put down the habitat first. Or I'm just, you know, if I want to plan out things, I'm just drawing the track instead of laying it down. I can already always draw it with the terrain tool first. I would also recommend this. If you guys are uncertain about layouts, uh, just try drawing it with the terrain tool first. Uh, just uh, search for a good, a very hard terrain color that is really good to see and then just use the 100% um, uh, yeah, strength and then just paint this area and just try to get a feeling of it size-wise and also uh, where it is and, and sidelines and stuff like that. So you can always plan that out if, if needed. So I really like to play around with the uh, terrain tool. However, I just want to also quickly say that this is um, the Indian elephant uh, habitat. You've seen that obviously from the from the title and also from the thumbnail and I must say that this animal became at the very last moment of beta my favorite animal of planet zoo so far that I have seen actually in game the the, the sheer amount of detail on these animals is amazing but since I have spent a bit of time with Indian elephants when I've been to Thailand and um, I was at a, a recovery station or a is it kind of, it's not yet yeah, it's, it's kind of a it's kind of a research recovery station for the animals which um, we searched for quite a long time because we needed to make sure that we find something that is well you know a, something really good for the animals and where they are treated well and especially in Thailand it's it's kind of a, a mess in terms of animal uh, welfare in general so it, it took us a while to find uh, a proper yeah uh, research, research station I should say where you can uh, go and and also make sure that you know the anim animals are happy in there and I'm, I'm very happy we found some and we had a very very nice day with the uh, elephants and, and learned a lot about them and we even have been to a little river where we could bath them or take a bath together with them so um, it was really interesting though because we needed to wear special clothes so uh, special cloth we were not allowed to bring our own stuff we even weren't allowed to wear shoes the only shoes that were allowed were these kind of water shoes that are out of uh, this kind of uh, what is this in rubber rubber fabric or whatever so a very very um uh, nice so if if you touch them or whatever you can't hurt them and also like cameras and stuff had to be um in a proper they had a proper suit uh, case for a gopro which was also having r rubber bands around it so that you don't hurt the animal so you were allowed to bring them but you needed to use their stuff in, instead of your own stuff and um even we had a time where they were going into the water and they had a lot of fun uh, playing with us actually in the water and uh, we were allowed to to brush them and, and clean them up but we weren't even allowed to take a proper like uh, I don't know um, uh, sponge we actually just got a bit of reed uh, in our hands which we should use to to just uh, scratch them uh, oh they were loving it they were absolutely loving it and so um, I, I've, I got very very close with those animals and uh, you know not I, I, I would go too far to say I got a relationship to them but it, it's almost like you could at least feel that these animals had a good time and you know you, you do you do just see the movement and stuff better than anything else that you can experience when you're not up close with animals and just see them from from far away so um, I think also this the, this experience made me or put me in a position where I can really judge the animals in game and 
I can't do this with all the animals because obviously I haven't been that close to, for example, a lion or a tiger. I haven't brushed a tiger yet. I haven't even uh, uh, taken a bath with a lion yet. Uh, I'm not even sure if I want to, so... Yeah, bear that in mind. Uh, but, you know, for those animals, I can do it. And I have to say, I'm absolutely freaking amazed how insanely well Frontier made them. I, I like the African elephants usually a lot more than the Indian ones. But hell, in the game itself, not a single chance for the African one. I'm so sorry, but the Indian one, oh my goodness, it looks so crazily good. The movement is great. The the distinctive uh, difference between the male and female is great. The the expression in the eyes is is so much better. The the overall um, kind of uh, yeah, I don't know even the mass and the different proportions of the uh, Indian one in in comparison to the African one is is made so good. Even the the different kind of movement with the smaller ears, which is definitely you can tell that there is a different movement. They didn't even copy over the animations. It, it is a proper own animation set for the Indian elephant with the ears, and I, I just it's. It's really gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. So the uh, for uh, just to give you a little example here, what I mean by that. So the the um, African elephant is, is a lot more, you know, usually using the ears a lot more to flick them to the front. So they are standing sideways a lot more. So you, you have really this distinctive, uh, iconic um, look of an uh, African elephant with the ears widespread from the head to the left and to the right. While the um, Indian one has them most likely a lot more closer to the body and, and almost looked like a bit more cute and a bit more... Um, yeah, I would say introvert, and uh, the the African one is a bit more extrovert, if you will. I think in, in terms of the mimic, and and so that would would actually be the proper description here. So, yeah, I think I praised those animals a lot, uh, enough now. Uh, it really was absolutely amazing to to just experience them in the last minute of the beta. So these animals will be definitely taking a, a good part of of my first uh, things I do in the proper game and I can't wait for that. So until then I would call it a day here from my side guys because now you're pleased with a lot of cinematics as promised at the end of this episode and I see you in the next episode of whatever I do because I've binged produced everything for you but with a you know proper recording I'm back in two weeks time because now it's time for me to go on holidays. Until then have a great time guys and bye.
Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video, I really do appreciate that. As always, uh, make sure to check out also my social media channels, you can find me everywhere under at RudyRedCamel. Also, big thanks to the crew, uh, you can see it on the left hand side right now. And as always, if you want to see more, you click that card on the top right. And if you want to stick around because you like the stuff you've just saw, you just saw, whatever, you know what I mean, just uh, click the sub button which is to the bottom right of the screen right now. But everything else I can say is have a great time and see you next time. Bye guys.